Good morning, ladies and gents. Happy Monday, March 13th, I believe. March 13th, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys had a great March 13th, two weeks ago when you're watching this. Um, it is 8.30 in the morning. I slept in quite a bit today. Not really something, I woke up like at 7.40, which is like 40 minutes after I usually wake up now. Um, I'll blame that more on uh, daylight savings than myself sleeping in, to be honest. I did work pretty late yesterday, like till 12.30. I listed 25 items on my eBay, a combination of what I bought this weekend plus other things. And then I was watching um, some bracket shows and uh, like NCA bracket shows and I was cross posting on my phone that happened and then I, just, then I just went to bed. So I did go a little late, but like I still would have woken up normally if this was like two days before. Then I say this is kind of really messing me up, but I heard someone this is like the last year that we're having it. So hopefully there's no more time switches and it just, we have one time the whole year. I got my coffee, I have a bagel going, did some of the dishes uh, that were piling up here, put some in the dishwasher. Plan for the day is uh, to pack uh, orders from this weekend, then go to the post office, because I know I have two returns that I have to deal with. They're my, they're my PO box, I have to get those. Uh, one of them is for, uh, VCR, this doesn't work, but I tested it and it did work. So I'm gonna grab it back, test it again. And if it's a false INAD, uh, I won't give them the full refund. And then another one is for a dress that didn't fit. So like not terrible returns. I've already edited tomorrow's vlog, so I don't have to do that. Um, so pretty much I'm just gonna be waiting for Dave to give me a call, his settlement's over and, and tell me to come and help. So pretty much that's the plan. I'm, I'm getting my new mower tomorrow from Dave as well. So I'm excited to use that, got the grass of it. It's a battery powered. So it's also electric, but it's a battery, so I don't have to have a cord. I hate using that cord, so that should be great. All right, so you're gonna have to guys, uh, so you're gonna have to excuse the noise again. I have the fan going and I also have my washing machine going as well. So it's a little, uh, loud in here and it's very humid uh very very humid for this morning i'm not used to being this humid so i think some rain might be coming pretty soon there's some clouds skeleton clouds i think it might be raining as well pretty soon so um i gotta have to get this done fast so i can close my garage door if it does start coming in here anyways uh we got quite a bit of sales i think like close to 40 uh sales um which is really good considering i don't really list that much last couple of days uh, like I said, I've been I've been traveling I've been away I've been doing all this stuff uh, but um, sales are still coming so I love to see it uh, so here's what's sold sold a Nikon cool picks um, a camera I listed this just yesterday got it a yard sale for three bucks sold for 25 um, sold like in an hour uh, Backstreet Boys introducing the Backstreet Boys this is like a cassette tape I got this in the storage unit uh, my first ever live on my main channel my first time ever going live I was opening a storage unit like live in my warehouse and this was in there. So I had this forever. Had no clue where to price it. The console all over the place. I started pretty high, like at 50 and it just started dropping and dropping and dropping it. I believe it sold for $30. Dragon Ball Z, I have no clue where this came from. This keychain sold for seven. Another part of my rigid buy uh, from two weeks ago now, uh, from the Friday yard sale. Uh, I have only a couple things left. I don't think I have one battery and one drill. That's it. They've been selling like hotcakes. This battery sold for $25. Also from the rigid buy, this flashlight right here sold for I think fifteen dollars. Um, Star Wars trilogy, I think I got like ten bucks for these. I don't know where they came from. Uh, Hellboy just bought this recently for a dollar at a, at a yard sale. I got a bunch of Blu-rays for a dollar. This sold for ten. Uh, Starcraft games sold for like five. Uh, this was like a throw-in at a yard sale, so not not have don't have much really into it. So two GI Joe comic books through the same person. Um, got this at the auction house, got 20 thing total for those. This is a pretty cool right here. It's like Murano style little candies. Um, you won't see this video on the main channel because I only bought one thing at that garage sale and that was these guys. And um, they sold, I paid three bucks for them, I think they sold for 25. So not too shabby there. Uh, Voca Universal Remote, now I paid a dollar for this at a ticket church sale a while back. Sold for 20 bucks. Uh, I sold two of these two uh, view loaders. Uh, they're like paintball uh, mechanism things. Probably got them in a big paintball buy. I don't remember where they came from. I think I got 25 for that. Another serving set of Oneida. I've been getting 20 bucks for these. I paid $5 for a bunch of them at a yard sale in Jersey. Uh, probably sold through half of them already. 
I mean, been just getting twenty dollars a set, so you guys know profit in that is insane. Uh, I sold the hummingbird, one of these. Um, you guys saw this on my main channel. Uh, one of the first yard sales I went to in Florida, I paid a buck for that, sold for 60. Uh, people already getting ready for Halloween. <laughs> sold the trick or treat, and the trick or treat um, bucket for 12 bucks. This came from the big Vlomo buy that I had. Uh, this thing you guys just saw on my main channel. I just posted this on my main channel. It's a uh, cast iron cornbread pan. It's the one I paid $5 for, I believe. Sold for 45. Got three pairs of shoes. Jessica Simpson heels. Unisa, I'm not gonna pronounce this, I think. Unisa, uh, booties, and uh, some New Balance like running shoes. I uh, think they're running shoes. Uh, I believe it was 20, 22, and 30. I think that's what I got for them. Uh, paid a buck for these. I know these are probably where storage you find. It's fire storage you can find, if I were to guess. Uh, putter sold. Uh, this is a tailor made uh, putter. Uh, putter is the one that has a terrible grip as well. Paid five dollars for this one as well. Sold for forty bucks. Sold a ton of clothes this weekend. I love, I love that. Um, Walt Disney polo sold. Uh, vintage Rooster Roadhouse shirt sold. Uh, Nike Just Do It shirt sold. A Polo Ralph Lauren men's shirt sold. A Polo Ralph Lauren sweater sold. And here we got some Lucky Jeans. This is a, a Vans T-shirt. And this is a pretty sick looking Space Jam hoodie that also sold. And then we got some viewer sales. We got three viewer sales to end off the order pool. First, we saw this really cool Wish Pets Otter. This sold to Ashley, which goes by Horton's Havens on, um, on Whatnot and probably other places as well. But I know I follow her on Whatnot and she didn't write anything. Was trying to be sneaky, but I saw the username, Ashley. You can't sneak past me. <laughs> so Horton, I saw Horton Haven. I was like, I know what that is. I know Ashley. Thank you so much, Ashley, for your purchase. Then we got Robert in in Federal Way, Washington. Um, Robert bought from me in the past already. Thank you so much, Robert. He bought this really cool uh, ocean, like city ocean breeze or something like that. Um, crew neck sweater. He said, Hi, looking forward to getting this crew neck to add to my vintage clothing collection. By the way, love the Florida content. God bless. Thank you, Robert. Really do appreciate it. Thank you for continuing to support, watch, comment, and uh, purchase from me. Really do appreciate it. And then last but not least, we sold this purse over here to one of my most loyal, maybe maybe my most loyal Australia watcher. If you guys are from Australia, you guys want to take Rochelle style, please let me know in the comments below that you're more loyal than her. This is, this is from Rochelle from Brizzy. Uh, she watches um she watches all my videos i see her in all the lives even though there's a huge time difference i still see her in the lives and uh when i am a guest on other shows as well i always see her comment and stuff on that stuff as well so Rochelle, you loyal thank you so much and she wrote hi paul thank you so much i've been looking at this purse at your store for a while now i can finally buy it and let it live with me here in brisbane australia Thank you again. I'm so happy. Uh, keep being you. I love the changes that you are showing. And since your move to Florida, you have a new radiance and joy in everything you do. Keep aiming for those sunsets. Love from Rochelle. Love from Rochelle from Brizzy. So that was a very sweet note. Thank you so much, uh, Rochelle. Uh, Rochelle, I think, is the first person that commented uh, about my new Florida life in one of my first vlogs. They like really made me smile when she said that like she could just tell, just there was a new like joy to me new radiance to me and and it's true and it's like you know it's kind of hard to hide so uh thank you rochelle for that so this is all that's sold uh let me start packing them up we're going to continue my tradition of being wrong about everything or at least now being wrong about everything still um hasn't rained yet <laughs> but i'm finished packing uh the orders they're all packed the clouds still look a little scary i'm not gonna lie so it's still my rain I have one thing only going, going UPS. It's that um, golf club. I'm gonna take it to UPS right now, and uh, then check the PO box on the way. Check the PO box on the way back. All right, so we're back from uh, the both of us from UPS. UPS had zero people in there. That was like shockingly, shockingly empty. Usually, I come to UPS, it's like a line of like 20 people out the door. Now I feel like I'm superhuman because I just walk right through the line and right to the front and put my prepaid package 
up there and leave. And I was like, uh, excuse, uh, so many people are always confused. So, some, some ladies yell at me and I'm like, that's the rules. And the UPS workers go, yeah, he did nothing wrong. If it's prepaid, you can just leave it up front. You don't have to wait in line for it. So it's, um, I usually feel like a superhero <laughs> at UPS. It was empty, so nothing there. And then the weirdest part, I go to the post office, check my PO box. I got a little uh, chocolate bunny from Jan's Multiverse because she spoils me with food that can't have. I'm trying to avoid, but <laughs> I got a chocolate bunny from Jed and nothing else. And I'm like, I got a notification that two of my things got delivered uh, for uh, two returns got delivered, nothing in there. So I checked tracking and apparently they both got delivered back to the original buyer. Like they, it got sent to me, it got to my post office and then it got rerouted back to the original people. I was really weird about this. I called eBay uh, in the car outside, outside the post office. I'm like, yo, I had, and the, there were like two big returns. Like the dress is like 40 bucks. And then um, the DVD combo is like a hundred and five or something like that. So it was two, two big sales. So I'm like, I'm like, what is going on here? And uh, they, the, the eBay rep couldn't figure it out either. So he said, you know what? We're just going to refund you. Uh, we're just going to refund the people from our end and you can keep the money, which <laughs> That's a win for me. I get to keep the funds and I guess the people are happy and I don't, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Uh, nothing more to say about that. That was just super weird uh, because I had returns in the past I delivered to the PO box. So that wasn't, uh, that wasn't like anything bad. And I bought things before from eBay and got delivered to the, PO, to the PO box and that was never an issue. So I don't know what happened this week. Um, they, I asked uh, the, the guy behind the desk I showed him the, the tracking and stuff, and he goes, I don't know, I wasn't here at that, that's what he told me, so. I don't know if he's just lying to me or he doesn't actually, doesn't know, so. Yeah, really weird things that happened there. Anyways, I'm back home. Probably gonna go and edit um, another video, because I'm gonna get the, the SD card on this one, and it's getting filled up, so. I'm gonna have to edit, uh, like, a day or something, and take the take off the SD card so we can continue filming tomorrow. So, of course, when it's time for me to leave, <laughs> go help my friend out. It starts to pour outside. <laughs> You guys can see that it's rain i knew it was coming <laughs> i was very like early on it coming i thought it was gonna come like at <laughs> like a nine in the morning it came at 3 p.m but it came <laughs> uh it's uh coming down pretty hard right now and i have to head out there because uh i'm meeting with my friend at his new place which is about an hour away from me so i have to drive an hour rush get in the car real quick and not to get sucked in. I'm hoping it's not raining where he is because that'll be pretty bad. I really don't want to unload a truck in the rain. And, um, so I'm going to only be there for about four hours today because I have to leave it at eight because I have my draft at nine tonight. So I have to be there on time for that. So I'm going to drive an hour, be there for four hours, drive an hour back. That's pretty much the plan. And uh, then I'm going to probably hum to help him tomorrow morning as well to have it on finish. Man, it's coming down hard over here. All right, I'm gonna lock this door and practice my uh, Usain Bolt skills and see if I can get to this car. Okay, I'm back at the house now. I am super sweaty and disgusting, so I need to shower. Uh, but we unloaded the whole truck. I was surprised we got that all done. Uh, him and uh, my other friend are gonna go do one more load so I couldn't do with them because I have a show uh, to, to, to hit 7.30 right now. I'm gonna shower and get ready for the show. But I am gonna go back tomorrow and we'll do one more final trip there. But we're happy, but I'm happy we got most of it done. I figured that was gonna happen. It's gonna take over most of my day today and a couple other days now. So it, that's another thing. Things are more important than listings. Like, like I said, I want the list today, but when stuff like that happens, listing is put to the side. You know? Friendships and helping your friend and doing that is way more important. Um, than listings and you gotta remember people are more important sometimes you know so so what if I don't list 50 items today you know <laughs> I did I can list any other time you know and if I list a little less tomorrow that's okay as well because you know I got more important things to do but anyways I'm gonna go shower make dinner I really have nothing to make dinner with to be honest I have some breakfast sausages and that's it I need to go to that while again tomorrow and buy some more produce uh, buy some meat I do have some tuna steaks they should probably defrost right now and have it ready to go for tomorrow. Oh, and I got chicken legs too. I do have chicken legs. Yeah, I'll defrost some, I'll defrost some chicken legs for, for tomorrow. I'll put them in the air fryer as well. 
I'll have these defrosting right now. You guys, you guys will tell me two weeks from now. But if I put uh, frozen chicken legs there in a bag, if I put them under hot water to defrost them, is that okay? Does that make it faster? I'll look into it online, see what the internet tells me. So I have showered. I uh, did all that detailing the chicken. I don't think it's gonna be ready by the time the show starts. I'm watching Roman. I need time picker. Right here. Doing live. Roman's a funny guy. I like to be at his lives. He's pretty funny. He, 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 I think he might have a. He also can't keep like a straight thought like me, so it's pretty funny. He'll go from. Talking about the bins, talking about my dog, talking about St. Patrick's Day, talking about eBay. It's it's pretty entertaining, uh, pretty entertaining live. So, watching him, I don't think the chicken's gonna be ready in time. It's still pretty frozen uh, to cook, so I might have to cook it after the show is over. So right now I'm gonna go uh, list a couple of items. It is 8:25. I have to be in the back room in about 20 or 25 minutes. I brought all the video games that I bought at Beaches to Beaches. I'm gonna try to get most of them up. And listen okay so we just finished the draft that was a lot of fun uh it's a lot of fun tangents man that's something the draft you're not prepared for so many tangents so many stories we learned so much about tj today that i have never learned before on why he hates peaches and stuff so that's that was fun if you guys want to see it go to natural flippers channel uh look at the best dessert draft i don't know how like this will be probably like two weeks ago by the time this comes out you'll see that one that was good. I'm happy with my board. I got brownies, I got tiramisu, I got peanut butter bars in the last pick. I got uh, chocolate lava cake, which is so good. And I got ice cream cake. So very happy with my board. So like I said, I couldn't eat beforehand because the chicken was still defawing. So now it is done. Look at this glorious bird, the legs of the bird. They are now uh, air fried, barbecue sauced. I put so many different seasons on them. And now I can't wait to begin. It's very late. It's uh, 11 p.m. But like I say, I haven't eaten almost all day, to be honest. Think about what I had. I had like peanut butter sandwiches for lunch. Like I had <laughs> really like no good lunch. So I'm pretty hungry. So uh, I'm excited to try try this bird out. But I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna, take a, I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna head to bed. Good morning, ladies and gents. Happy, I don't have my watch on me, so I'm gonna get my phone. Happy Tuesday, March 14th. I have woken up. I have done my scroll through social media. Did all that. Now I'm making some breakfast sausage and having some coffee. It is 8.14 in the morning. Daylight savings time is still messing with me because a couple days ago, this would have been 7.14 in the morning. It would have been great. And I keep thinking to myself, like, why am I waking up so late? Well, just because the government decided to change the time on us. I really don't get the whole daylight savings time thing. It just seems very weird. <laughs> Today's plan is um, I want to clean the dishes in the kitchen, make the kitchen look presentable. I have to hear from my friend Dave, see when he wants me there to help with the move, and then come back here and just pretty much list. That's the plan have a lot still to go through, a lot of listing uh, is to go through. And I've been doing like little bits here and there. I, I need like a um, full dedicated day to listing and, and today should, will be that day if I don't have any other things going on. And um, maybe edit a vlog since I'm trying to put out more than three this week. So, so far, that's all I can think of. I'm sure other things will come up, take out my ahi sticks and get that going. So by dinner time today, it will be I can start cooking that as well. So I, I put you guys down. Let me enjoy my breakfast. So Dave just called me all the time at breakfast. <clears throat> Said he needs me in the morning. So I'm gonna go grab some moving blankets and grab one of my dollies and head on over and help him out. Alrighty, we are back home now. It is 3.30 p.m. We just got home. Uh, finished fully with the move. Thankfully, it is all done now. I got some good cardio in. <laughs> we're, we're good to go there. I got some of the best chicken on the way home, so I don't need to get lunch. I got some Chick-fil-A. I'm a video launch today on this channel from the time when my car broke down and I talked about Pokemon Go and I'm actually pleasantly surprised about the positive responses so far on that video. I thought people are gonna uh, trash me for playing a, a, a game as an adult, uh, but you guys have it, so thank you for that. And I got a lot of friend requests, so that's pretty cool to see a lot of new friends on um, that game. Plan now is to edit uh, a vlog for Friday. 
we're gonna do that first. Uh, we're gonna get the, blo the edit out of the way. Then just list, list my life away, get as many listings as possible. Then I have my house inspection between eight and like 3 p.m. tomorrow. It's a terrible window, but a guy's coming. So pretty much this company does when you're 45 days in, they go and they have a guy inspect the house. Make sure you haven't like destroyed it in the first 45 days. <laughs> So he's gonna go check, make sure the AC works, the lights work, all that. And then I have a list of things for him to look at as well. So like if I had like a light that wasn't working, something like that, um, how I'll have to say, hey, this isn't right, this isn't right. So, so far I only have one thing on my list, to be honest. That thing is right there. If you guys can see it, that should not be disconnected from the house. Um, so when it rains, the rain just falls off. It doesn't actually go into the gutter. So I don't know if it's just a simple, like, just fix there or if something actually has to happen with this. But I'm, I'll point out to them tomorrow and see what they can do. So when it, I only noticed yesterday when it was raining that it was, rain was all coming down to here instead of going to the gutter and going out that way. The crazy part for me is that I've already been here 45 days. That's the crazy part for me when I, when I saw that on the schedule. I was like, wow, I've been here for that long. That's crazy. It feels like just like yesterday I moved into here. <laughs> a lot of things going to go down tomorrow. So I'm trying to make it easier on that by getting as much work done as possible today. I saw a comment on one of my videos saying that I should be eating more iron. And then they told me that there's iron in raisins. So I was like, oh, I have some raisins in the, in the pantry. <laughs> I went to get a pantry. Uh, I went to get the raisins and I choked on eating a raisin. So this is why I shouldn't be eating raisins. <coughs> I was I was scary, but anyways, I have finished editing the video. It is done. Um, I'm I guess I'm putting. I didn't realize this, but I'm guess I'm recording a lot. That um, every video that I make is like 20 minutes long, and it's only one day. I thought for sure I can squeeze more than one day into these videos and try to catch up a little bit, but it's not working. Um, the one I just made was just from the one I just edited was like 22 minutes, and I cut a lot of a lot of it out, and it was only from like Thursday, March 2nd or whatever. Uh, so um, that is done. I've decided that uh, since the weather today isn't that hot, it's hot, but not that hot, it's like 75 right now. And I have so much like stuff to do tomorrow, I decided to go uh, right now and cut my lawn right now. Uh, get that out of the way and then come do a little minor cleanup. Yeah, I see, looks pretty good. This machine is a beast. I think it's motors inside too. There's really not much grass to pick up afterwards. Look at that thing. Looks pretty dang good. Pretty dang good in the front. And now I just gotta do the back. I remember how long it took me the first two times to cut this, but maybe it's just like, uh, but this felt like it was twice as fast, if not faster, because it had no cord I had to keep untangling and flipping over. I love that mower. <laughs> I, I love that mower. I think it has amazing work. Backyard is done, as you guys can see. Looks very, very good. Very good, it looked like the first few times I cut it, I had so much like grass I had to like rake up afterwards. This thing mulches it so well, there's like no piles of grass anymore. Look at that. Very, very pleased with that thing. That thing is uh, amazing and it feels so good to have a pretty yard again, so that's awesome. Now I'm gonna go uh, get my blower blow everything off make it look nice and like the sun's still out so we did really good did really good glad we got that crossed off our list today okay so we showered and i looked at what i had i had avocados i had tuna i looked at avocado and tuna recipes and i did it i did a little seared tuna with avocado i just seared the tuna did a little test trial earlier for the smaller piece it looked pretty good and tasted pretty good tuna is seared once you see me cut it you guys will see it's Beautiful right on the inside. Cutting some avocados there right now. I have uh, high hopes for this dish. Eating some of the leftovers. There wasn't Instagram ready, but uh, look at this, guys. Look at that. Just look at that. Very easy to make, too. I was like shocked that you didn't make. The tuna's delicious, man. I have some tasty tuna. I have another steak for tomorrow, too. Let me dig in and enjoy this. Food was destroyed, the dishes have been done, the rest of them are in the dishwasher, 
oven has been cleaned. So uh, now it's time to continue listing. I'm gonna probably put uh, some coffee on the Keurig, get a little coffee action and get to listing and continue to listing, try and make a bigger, big dent as possible into this little pile that I have. So I actually ended up going live <laughs> on this channel today. I was listing, I was bored, so I was like, I have to go live. A lot of you guys showed up though. So we had a fun time. Uh, listing, chatting, there's over a hundred people in the live. That's pretty awesome. All right, so we did that. Now it's after 12 a.m. and it's time to go to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning.